All right, next up, we're going to finish my daughter's guitar here. We're going to start by taking that body that's been prepped with the wallpaper, and we're going to put a mist coat on of this two-part automotive finish from Sherwin-Williams Auto. My friend Rodney had suggested this. And actually, what's cool about this finish is I'm spraying this in the dead of winter. This was back in February. Waited for the water to get warmer to actually do this. These are two different parts here that I purchased. You got the hardener and the material. So mix those as a four to one ratio and you can spray. So we're gonna put a mist coat on, let it dry. So then after we put on the mist coat, we'll put one thicker coat on. The trick with this stuff is to apply it slowly. Let that mist coat really kind of seal in then you can put on two or three thicker coats. So we'll get all the corners, all the edges. And what we'll go ahead and do is sand off that first thicker coat, get a nice even coat. Got a little bit of rippling from the paper you can see. What's nice, this stuff dries pretty quick and you can go back and hit with the sander relatively quickly. So this is 320 sandpaper and we're just getting it all scuffed up and, and leveled off a little bit better. So then for the sides we're going to use this custom shop magenta pearl to get this to bleed in. And I tried applying this with my HVLP gun. I couldn't get it set up right. Coat's gone on all weird and goofy. Way too thick. I couldn't get the, the hose adjusted correctly for the material to come out. So we attempted this. Actually, we went back and then sanded off a little bit of this. And it was time to pull out the airbrush then. And this stuff is actually made to airbrush. So get up close and just start going back and forth with the airbrush. This airbrush is from Harbor Freight. Purchased this, I don't know, a couple years ago, I think. Been using it one-off projects. But works very well. And you're just going to go back and forth here and airbrush the side of the body. We'll speed this up. This took a little bit longer than I thought. I should have put down a primer on the body first before spraying this. That would have made this a lot easier to go on. Would have taken some of those grain lines out. But you can see over time as I'm doing it, you're going to feather that edge where the white piece of paper is. And you'll get a little bit of a burst effect over across the wallpaper. And as you're going back and forth, eventually you just cover up all of the sides. You can see over time it, it covers it pretty well. So we'll go back and use that two-part finish again, make another concoction and begin to spray the whole body. I know this is maybe about a month ago. Weather's much warmer, can do this outside. Got a nice fan blowing all this stuff out. Here I have the gun adjusted, not perfectly, it's pushing way too much material out. But we'll put two coats on to seal in that edge and seal in the sides. And then we're going to do some wet sanding after it's dry. I did not film that process, but you're going to do some silicone carbide sandpaper, start with 600. I've got all my sandpaper organized in this nice handy carry-on. It's all divided out. We're going to then move up to 1,000. And then we're going to move up to 1,500 here. And you just soak the, soak the sandpaper for about 24 hours and then come back and hit it. You can also buy some real high-end buffing pads from Lee Valley. So you're going to go back and actually buff this out after it's been dried and wet sanded. So you're going to get 
the buffing compound. This is my custom built buffer. These are Menza compounds. We're just going to take the body and start buffing it up. There are two different compounds I use. There's a fine and a very fine. And I've got these custom pads that I bought from Grizzly. We'll speed this up and just go ahead and buff up the whole body. It's funny, years ago, one of the first videos I did was of this buffer and it was terribly built. And as I got older and learned how to stabilize the tool and use it, uh, great little system I've got set up. This buffer didn't really cost me anything other than the pads and a couple parts and I had an extra motor and geared it properly and slowed it down and this thing runs forever. So here's one side unbuffed after the sanding, it's kind of glossy sheen. And then here we are buffed up. So it looks really good. So I wanted to show you what I did for the neck. From Hobby Lobby, I bought these pearlescent paints, these pearl paints, liquid pearl paints that I applied. I start with the white was unsure how this was going to look. I probably should have tested it first, but didn't do that. Just went right to the neck. And then I come back with the much darker color. And once I put the darker color on, this is definitely what I'm looking for. I'm looking to match kind of the, the side uh, of the paisley. There's some silver in there, and I was trying to match that silver to get it to look proper. And going with the dark silver look good. So this is almost like a silver burst. I'm gonna do that in one of my next videos. But this darker on maple looks pretty cool. Go back with the lighter color and kind of get it to, to pop. So I'm gonna put this wipe on poly from Minwax on. I'm gonna add these silver pearl X powder pigment flakes to that. And we're just going to wipe that on. This actually came out pretty cool. Can't really tell in these pictures, but out in the sun, really interesting finish. I like wipe on poly. It's not yellow. You can add things to it. So with the fretboard, we're going to use some Allison oil and clean it up. I've been using this on all my guitars. Really nice results. And then for the pickups, I just did a custom wind set of pickups, posted that video a couple days ago, I'll put that link here. And then here's how the guitar turned out, and it's outstanding. Not a big fan of the headstock, but I'm working on a custom design. That's the clay inlays. They're centered, except for one that I intentionally put off center. Really cool body, love the sides, love the paisley figure, love the neck. I've got kind of small narrow frets on there for my daughter. Got to let this sit for a couple days and then set it up again. Get that nice low fretting, low action. So here's the feathering on the side. Here's the magenta pearl from Custom Shop. Came out really nice. And then just put some basic knobs on that I had laying around. Wasn't going to do a custom pink top. I, th I thought these white ones looked pretty good. So really happy with the way this turned out. Plays awesome. She's really happy. I'm pretty happy. We'll be doing a little bit more customization with that headstock. But overall looking pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next vid. And uh, check out my new website to purchase some of the stuff.